welcome back. Episode three of the Charger. We're gonna get this eight and three quarter put under here and hopefully get this thing sitting on the back wheels again. Um, as you can see in the last video, we got the fuel system kind of all installed for the most part. I still got a couple things left. I got vents and I gotta like finish up the supply lines and stuff. Uh, no big hurry on that stuff. That can all get kind of finished as we go. Um, big reason I want to get this put in is I have a truck behind it that I want to get in front of the car so I can get the truck out of the garage. It's just kind of in winter storage behind it. So once this is in, the back of the car is kind of done and I can push it up against the wall and we can keep going on the small stuff and get going on the front of the car. So that being said, we'll get this put back up there and start wrenching. I did notice in the last video, my lighting is terrible and my camera angles are terrible. So I ordered a couple mounts. Hopefully that'll make things better. And then the lighting in this building is gonna have to just kind of make do. I got a couple ideas to maybe make it a little bit better. But um, yeah, let's just hope the videos keep getting better, not worse. So let's get this rear end put in this car. I got the rear end pushed under. I'm going to start in the front and get the front hangers hung on the frame. It's four studs on the hanger mount and then four nuts on each side. And then we'll go to the back and put the shackle bolts in on the car on the frame rail and then put it through the leaf spring. And that's all it is to it for hanging the rear end in there. Got my shackles here. Got two different length bolts. We'll see what kind of fits and looks better and then all the assorted hardware to get that in. So let's get set up. I got a little bit better light here and let's get this thing hung. In case you forget, like me, these front spring hangers, they only go on one way. So these bottom two studs are wider than the top two. So if you're worried about the geometry of that bracket, it only goes on one way. So we'll get a little bit of Annie C's on there. For the next time it comes apart and 50 years or when I'm rich and can frame off, restore the car. And notice how these swivel nuts aren't painted. I want to say I planned that because this side of the car is not painted, but I honestly forgot. So We'll just pretend like I uh, like I planned that. So I'll get all four of these on, and then we'll start jacking the back of the springs up and get the shackles and shackle bolts on. And then we can drop her down. So I got these Prothane leaf spring shackle bushings. These go on the frame rail, or the spring mount on the car side, I should say. You want to make sure you grease these up good. Um, I don't think they'd spin, but I've heard a lot of horror stories about, I mean, I know the, the poly bushings stiffen the car up for handling, but once they get dry, they squeak. So then every bump you hit, every time the car flexes, they start squeaking. So you want to make sure the bushings are good and greased up, and then the bolts as well. So we'll get these pushed in, and then... Get the shackles lined up and the shackle bolts in and there shouldn't be much to this they come with a little packet of grease but 
it's about enough to do one bushing so I'll just have it full of wheel bearing grease you can see I got the bushings pressed in there then all you do you just hang your shackles up slide your bolt through get your nut on the back side and then just line everything up do the same on the leaf spring I already got the leaf spring bushings in and it's a pretty simple deal So these rims are are unilug. I don't know if you can see. They use a shank style lug nut, so that's the face. And that shank centers the unilug slot for the bolt pattern. And then you gotta run these washers. These ones are really worn out. I'm just using these old ones and putting two on just to hold these on. But I have a new set as well. But so they're good for five on four and a half and then up to five and four and three quarter, I believe, for like GM cars. So it was kind of like a back in the day is like one wheel fits all, but they're kind of tricky to put on. It's kind of you put the wheel up and you find one that's kind of centered and then just get one started. And the trick is to get them all kind of started and then just slowly snug them up. But sometimes it can be a big pain to keep the washer in place. But she's tight. How about that? Rear end is in, back on the rear tires. I'm excited for the vectors, but I still do love the keystones on this car. I don't know if it's just because it's what I found it with, what the day I went and bought it at Adamon, but the 10 wide keystones definitely look badass. That's exciting though. Rear end is in, back on all four. There's a couple things to button up back there. Um, we have the sway bar to put back in. And then I haven't ordered shocks yet. Got to hook up the parking brake cables 
And then we got to do the fuel line vents and feeds. That should be pretty simple. And then we can get started on the front. I guess the next thing, I don't know what the next thing will be. I'll either drop the front end stuff out or I'll do the brake lines, but might have to kind of do that in series. So excited to get this done though. Just every little bit keeps getting it that much closer to driving. I think that's going to do it though. Nice short little video. Leave comments down below guys. I want to hear I want to hear about your project cars. I want to hear questions about this one. I want to hear stuff I'm doing wrong, stuff I could do better. I need more comments. I need more likes. Subscribers are going up. Just hit 110 subscribers, I believe. I want to keep growing. And thanks for everybody that is watching. Everybody that is subscribed. This is really fun to, to keep building this car and try to film everything. Try to make everything better video wise and making the car better so it gets on the road. But thanks for watching and we'll see you on episode 4. Thanks.